Hoine wa mudenya wa ramithi mwana wa Karen kwa munini wa president Dagitari William Ruto. No me haleria ma munini wa president ha mwana boto ya gotanero ya Kenya Kwanza. Magwe kinye ya kasarani county ni ya Nairofi. Niguwa kwa nini na kia oneki kia gotanero eo. Ali kanuru gana ginyagia kasarani ni guwaruto akia nirirama udumari ya thirikari ya Kenya Kwanza ya kahigili ya mukenya. Wona ya iyo kia wathani dhuda wagidhura no kia mweli wakana na. Na maya mare kikire dhuda wao gotafani ya mishe manio ya kwa nirili otoga wa fuli. Na ikudi tinganete dhini ya waka unteshiothe mirogwe na na mugoja. Na ohogwe kira nira agiri miti itanyihire ikomi na ikudishio. Na hitu wa Bena Dodinga mimi ni candidate uko rarida constituency. Na mimi ni mufufi pia. Sisi kasi yesu ni kufua samaki baba. Kwa agenda zako wa hatuja sikia, tutapatu saidisi na minagani kule siyaya. Kwa sababu, kwa sababu baba, Unamona mambo ya lake. Sisi tunasteswa kule vibaya sana na watu wa Uganda. Hatuna security. Katika sirikali yetu hii ya Kenya Kwanza, tutapata usaidisi na minagani baba. Baba, jambo la pili. Okay. Nataka kusema tena baba, sisi ni watoto wako kutoka siyaya. Wakati ulikuwa kisumu nilikuuliza kuja siyaya ulisema after December. Bado ni nakuomba sasa kama candidate yako. Tafadhali tuko siyaya, tuko na governor siyaya, tuko na women rep siyaya, tuko na makandidate wako wengi siyaya. Baba kuja siyaya, takama nukura mboja, tutakupea buwana. My name is Eric Omondi, popularly known as Mandos. Going by my second name, it's obvious that I'm good in English, but I'll choose a language that will communicate to both the audience and the people I represent here. During the Economic Forum for Nairobi, I was invited by the Honorable Governor, Mr. Sachs there, and with my team from Nairobi, we laid out a very, very great program on how solid waste can be managed in this country. Today, I've got the belief because even the, pres the incoming president told the incoming governor to stand up so that people can understand what he means by goodwill of the people who deal with solid waste. Mm. On that part, I say thank you very much, Chief thank Asla. You. Thank you, Mandos. I, rem yeah, I remember. We will also free the public service from being political or being used politically. We will want a professional uh, public service that serves all Kenyans irrespective of their political affiliation. And we will run our politics as politicians and use politicians to run our politics and allow chiefs, assistant chiefs, county commissioners, assistant county commissioners, uh, uh, regional commissioners to serve all Kenyans equally. Uh, the current situation where these public officers are being abused and used sometimes against their own will to run political errands will come to an end. Political errands will be run by politicians. The public service will deliver services to Kenyans, government services to Kenyans, fairly, without political uh, undertones. We are establishing the whole blue economy ecosystem. <laughs> Kawa bwana Bena. Ero kamano. Kamano, kamano. So, um, my good brother bwana Omondi, 
the last time we were in the economic forum in Kisumu, you remember very well the subject of the blue economy, what we need to do about um, interventions in the um, fishing industry, the kind of fish fishing gear, the cages, the cage uh, production of fish, and we undertook that we, we are going to have a comprehensive plan on the blue economy that will leverage on the competitive age that we have as a country and deploy even the hustlers fund to make sure that fishermen and people in that industry not only have access to cold rooms, but also processing facilities for our fish so that we can add value and stop selling our fish raw. So I think we have a plan there. And on your request that I visit CIA, definitely I will visit CIA. <laughs> definitely. On the interventions on Chemelil, Mohoroni, and Miwani, let me tell you what I said about Mumias and Zoya applies to also those three other sugar mills because they are government owned sugar mills. We will not only write off government debt, but we will also negotiate with all the other uh, stakeholders who have loans, whether they are banks or the other institutions, so that we can pay off those debts, get the sugar mills free of debt, and now begin the journey to make them productive once again the same way the other private sugar mills are productive. That is the strategy we have so that we can continue to um, enhance the incomes of sugarcane farmers as we do for all the other farming communities. You've asked me about the film industry, what we're going to do about it. First, we will make sure that we will expedite the passage of the Creative Economy Bill. That Creative Economy Bill will actually give us the film fund, because therein, in the Creative Economy Bill, we have built in a fund. That fund will now make it possible for the film industry in Kenya, first, to ensure that you can have access to modern equipment. You can borrow money, hire, buy modern equipment to build our film industry. You can also, um, uh, using the, 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 the bill, it speaks to reviewing um, policies and charges across counties so that filmmakers are not charged levies and fees in this county and in the next county when they are uh, making their films. We have also established a green channel for mil filmmakers who want to make their way to Kenya because there have been impediments on matters to do with their equipment being confiscated at the airport, them not being allowed, being charged huge levies and fees. We are going to review all that so that it makes it much more easy for filmmakers to find their way to Kenya because in any case, once they are doing they are filming in Kenya, they hire our staff, they eat our food, they sleep in our hotels, they spend their money here. I think that's a much more, a bigger benefit than the little fees we have imposed on filmmakers coming to Kenya. So, um, using the bill, my good brother, we will establish a film ecosystem that is going to make sure that filmmakers have the best environment to deliver on good quality products at rates that are reasonable. I have interacted with some of our proposals from the regions regarding the subject and uh, the proposals and solutions also being offered from the people themselves is that the government can take up a very quick in-depth, detailed audit so that we can establish where these ladrones are, if they exist, 
the amount of land by way of acreage that is held by the so-called absentee landlords, and then the government will take stock of that. Most of the times, the solution given by the people themselves is that the government can buy the land and redistribute to the people at the cost, at the cost of government, because there is a cost to the land staying idle. We are not farming on it. We are not doing any economic activities on it. And therefore, the question of even paying lease, lease fees is not sufficient. We would rather utilize the land. We are believers in building institutions. Kenya Kwanzaa does not believe in personality cults. We believe in institutions. We will promote and respect parliament as an institution. We will promote and respect the judiciary as an institution. Because it is only by so doing that we can build institutions strong enough to support the kind of program that we want. And I was once told that the best way to support an institution is to criticize it when it goes wrong. So we will be open to criticism from any quarter. And we will also um, point out to other uh, institutions when, when, when we see they, they are not doing the right thing. And that is the nature of democracy. But we will ensure that every institution has what it takes to discharge their mandate in accordance with the Constitution.